Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy, four nerds by nerds, hanging out with a couple of nerds. Nathan Nerdark. Nerdark is Ted. And today we're going to do a flip through from Nords Games Game Master's Toolbox Ultimate Beastry Revenge of the Horde. Jump down to the description below where we can sign up for Nerdarchy's newsletter, get weekly gaming tips, as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. If you guys haven't guessed, our uh, Kickstarter for Revenge of the Horde has come in. And we are going to do a flip through. This is a sponsored video. Uh, right here, one of the things you could get through the Kickstarter, and also they're available for purchase over at Nord Games as well. Link in the description below is encounter cards. And we have gnolls, we have kobolds, and a kitty. A kitty. I'm not even sure what that is. It's something in the, in the book. I haven't even really looked at it yet. We got uh, hobgoblins and orcs, bugbears, ogres, and trolls. Oh my. And let's not forget goblins. And we have the goblins. It's a pretty brutal cover there. You know, the ogre crushing that orc. You know, pretty cool. Oh, look at this guy. He's a beaut. I feel a little bit like Steve Irwin. He's beauty. Look that, at the fangs on him. That's an orc's orc there. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I've looked a little bit, you know, as a, a you know quick flip through and all the artwork I saw, I was really happy with. We got a nice uh, scrawled preface there. Awesome. Bugbear's one of my favorites. Yeah, of the there's only a handful of third party publishers that you know I'm happy to go to most of the time. And Newer Games is definitely one of them. So we got an ar Bugbear Archer, Bugbear Cutthroat. And uh, just to be clear, guys, the art is actually even better than it looks. Uh, through the camera, the the colors are muted, um, but they actually look fantastic in the book. If you just in case you can't fully see that, uh, I am totally in love with the art and the style. This is some really fantastic stuff. There's some gruesome stuff. Bugbear Headman, a challenge six. That's uh, that that's pretty cool. Go to a Bugbear Shaman, also a challenge six. That. Now is is good to see. Also, uh, looking at this page, uh, you have bugbear trinkets, bugbear lair details. So you have like all these cool extra things um, in there that's that's built right into the book for you guys. Yeah, and earlier they talked about the cultures and the environments that they're found in. No, some of my favorite monstrous humanoids. Those guys are looking pretty beastly. Yeah, you know, for, you know, variations in fur color, which. You know, not a lot of people tend to tend to do. Yeah, and they've got uh, things on the culture again, and the combat tactics and role playing of the gnolls. And then, of course, it's all broken up into different CRs for you, so it it really does allow you to use the monsters longer in your campaigns. And again, there's the spearman, archer. I love really? that flail. Yeah. Clan mother and a challenge five. Pretty nice. And then again, layer and trinket tables. And move on to as opposed to plains knolls. Now we have gutter knolls. And you can see they, they you know, even the artwork is showing a distinct look. These guys are kind of mangy looking. <laughs> well, I mean, they're gutter gnolls. Yeah. They look like they're from the gutter. They're the, they're the no, they're. The, I think they're the gnolls my mama warned me about. <laughs> no, gnolls again, again. You had some more trinkets and layer layer details. It's pretty cool. Move on to rock gnolls, and again, you got culture, and environment, role playing for each of those. I heard you like gnolls. Here's some gnolls on top of your nose. It's nice that they get a, a thematic feel to all of the different regional knolls there. Looks like we're getting into the goblins. Look at these guys, man. Look at that. Look at those mugs. They're such a sourpuss. Man, those guys look like they have nothing in the world to be happy That's about. That's their smile. <laughs> <laughs> so we got forest goblins. Well, that's it. This book has a ton of 
variety for your monstrous humanoids. It's that's all it's about. And I mean that that's gonna help you flesh out your game world in a in a way that you might not have thought of. Uh, well, you could say, oh well, this tribe of goblins is more, you know, forest. Well, this goblins they're rock goblins or hill goblins, so you can. You, you, you can have those differences, you can have those changes. So much art. Oh, I love that helmet. <laughs> it looks like it's a Nazi helmet. Goblins, the Nazis of the fantasy world. Oh, Hill Goblin Alchemist, that is really cool. I like how he's got the old school, um, what's that, physician's beak thing? Mask, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that guy looks kind of Spartan. Oh, yeah. Beastmaster and Champion. Again, we get the uh, the trinkets and the lair details. The cave goblins. You know, I haven't seen any bad art yet. No, there's not a piece that I've said, ah, oh, that should have been something different. Look, we've yeah. even looked at stuff. I mean, we're not all the way through, but we've looked at stuff even in like the you know some of the Paizo oh, stuff. The Feral Cave Goblin. It's my favorite. <laughs> that guy works out with one arm. Oh, so now it looks like the, the Goblin came from the Hobbit movies. Uh, yeah, definitely some. We can definitely see that there's some probably some influence there. Some inspiration was taken. Move on to hobgoblins. Oh, so far, I would say that's my least favorite picture. Well, they're you know they're more militaristic. They're gonna have the plate armor. They're yeah. gonna have the the well equipped troops. I'm just um. Yeah, I, I'm feeling you on the hobgoblins. They are the least interesting. Uh, the art's not bad, but visually they're the least interesting thus far. They're well they're well drawn. They're well colored. I just I'm not I'm not buying the visage. But yeah, they're not selling me like the other monsters did. Where the gnolls were super scary and uh, even the goblins were creepy. I can get behind the hobgoblin soldier. He's he's got me sold, but so far he's the only one. Uh, this guy don't look bad. And again, here it's not even the art, the style, it's just the um the the choice of the depiction really. Yeah. Because the art, the art is on par with everything else. Yes. They're just, they're just not. I just want to say they're not as exciting. Right, here's, here's the, here's the part that I've been waiting for. Oh, this is nice. That, that is a great image right there. Yeah, my, my, my flip through kind of led me to, to the kobolds, and, and I, I dig the reptilian kobold. I know some people, you know, they want to go more into the, to the rat like or. You know, the, the, the kind of somewhere the classic the, the classic kobold if I'm, you would I'm into the the you know mini dragon kobold kind of torn ooh look at that guy yeah, how nice. about this does this make you untorn <laughs> that's pretty good looking <laughs> yeah they they are pretty <laughs> sweet you I'm I'm having the hobgoblin palette uh kind of get washed <laughs> it, it's all it's almost like they had someone draw the hobgoblins that weren't into them <laughs> like because the art was like so good but like technically and and uh how well you know they were illustrated but they just weren't they weren't cool you know they didn't have the cool factor like look at that guy i think it's i think it's because hobgoblins are so close to humanoid human that. humanoids uh, so that, which one i mean the, 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 the dragon kobold wizard i mean that that to me is like all right yeah he's a challenge for but i mean he could he could literally be like the campaign arc for your first uh your first couple levels ogres so i guess the problem is maybe the problem is you know Hobgoblins are so militaristic that they're kind of like boring and humdrum. Well, that's what I mean. You know, that's like <laughs> it's, that got Spartan quality to them, and they're very close to humans in their appearance. Of the they're goblins, kind of like are... more like orcish, you know. Ooh, we got baby ogres. Well, I mean, yeah. What do you think, big ogres? <laughs> from? I like that guy. Yeah. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm digging the collector there. Like the crack across their. Their uh, their stomach region is. Oh, it's been a. Common... I think I think it's a common place for a soldier to almost kill an ogre. 
<laughs> so they just have the scars there and then okay they can't see the front of their stomach maybe oh, okay. so they're so just the, like huh it itches there the, the, the old kitty or like rat rat folk looking one. Oh, nice i like that visual it's like that dagger's coming right off the page at you it oh. is especially with the flip i like the swashbuckle feel to uh to these guys yeah like pirates of penzance <laughs> with were rats poor fairies oh man look at that guy that the poisoner. poisoner yeah kind of digging him I have to say, like on top of everything, the detail for the glassware actually has been really, really spot on. I feel as well. So, like down to all the, the for details you, for you, for you glassware enthusiasts. I feel like they've done an excellent job. The artists have really uh, captured a lot of the uh, like the details. The all right, so hopefully the orcs don't suffer from the hobgoblin. Yeah, I don't think they will. I think they're going to be wearing too many bone pieces and spikes to to suffer from that. <laughs> Keep it savage. Yeah, I think they're going to have the Savage there. Yep, bones and spikes, I called it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I like that guy, the Battleborn. Yeah, speaking Tez language. Whoa. Bruiser, yeah, he's putting, he's definitely putting a bit of a different spin on the old ball and chain. <laughs> <laughs> there, nice. Or she is the case may be. Or commander. And we have an orc shaman. So I'm, I'm, I'm digging digging the horns, the, the cool looking staff. And what would be an orc section section without the come at me bro uh, <laughs> pose? Come at me bro, come on. Bone Cracker, the Gold Arms, the Moon Daughter, all different tribes of orcs. Yeah. Trolls. I didn't even know they were in here. Surprise, sucker. We got trolls. And three very different looking trolls, too, mind Ooh, you. We got a rock troll, a wood troll, and some kind of furry troll. A Yeti troll, maybe? Uh, it's probably like a frost troll or a mountain mm. troll. Some place where it's cold, I would think. So we got a forest troll here. So this is you know, actually... Very close to the monster manual. Well, in style, you know, in his show. Yeah, got a cave troll. This guy looks like troll meets badger or armadillo. <laughs> He's been eating all, it's all those rocks he eats. Mm. There's a lot of variety here with the trolls. Yes. There you go, so Ted. Frost troll, you got it. You named it. Yeah, he looked very uh, Yeti-ish. This guy is weird. He's got that face growing out of the side of his head. That's a mountain troll. We got a hill troll that's big enough to be a hill. <laughs> that's when he takes a nap. Yeah. Oh, and so he's... now we're into the appendix, and we got beasts like hyenas and hyenas. And uh, hyenas. Oh, uh, so another Lacrota, in case you don't like the one in the Monster Manual. Well, the Lacrota wasn't that in Volo's Guide. Oh, uh, perhaps you're correct. So I think I think that I think they put that in there. Not realizing that Volo's guide was gonna wind up having that. Uh, that. That's possible, or they just wanted their own spin. So we got a scroffa. Yeah, most of these are kind of mundane-ish, with some cool, also with some cool stuff in there as well. But you know, they're all tied to one of the groups that you find earlier on. And when we get into, you know, we got tools of the horse. You got different different potions and things. Uh, goblin liquor. Uh, this is uh, this is <laughs> this is something I'm certain is going to show up in Griffin Gap before you know it. Uh, so we got the, the traits. If you want to add these into your uh, your other NPCs, yeah, being more specific. Legionary hobgoblin. Hey, that might be the best one. Yeah, see, to me that that that's like an oddly colored half orc. Well, yeah, well, yeah, maybe. They're just not as exciting as, as the other ones, and the other ones look so dynamic and so cool. And like I said, I, like, you know, even even the oh, payback, payback. Um, like looking at the savage orc, like the that's the that's the the name on the picture is savage, and yet when I look at him, he's resting, but there's there's life and there's dimension there, and I just don't see that in in most of the hobgoblin pictures. Everything else. 
Total, Fantastic. Totally, uh, yeah. totally thumb, thumbs up and on. And again, it's not the. It's actually not the quality of the art. It's just their. The direction of it. Yeah, yeah. They they don't feel as distinct as the other ones. I feel like the other ones. You feel like they were drawn by kobolds and Okidi and ogres and trolls and goblins. But the how goblins is like someone who didn't like them drew them. This don't excite me the way the other ones do. And like that just speaks to how fantastic the other ones are. Right. And now there's a ton of maps in here. So you're going to be able to drop these maps. I might even steal some of these for tonight. Right in your game and uh, you're ready to go. These are like different layers and stuff for the monsters, the, for, the, for the horde. And with that, that brings us to the end of the book. So you got alphabetical order and... Do we have any other monsters by monsters? challenge rating? Okay. So with that, we... that is our flip through. Hope you guys enjoyed looking through this with us as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. I uh, will we'll mention that there's also pawns available, and you know we, we you know we didn't want to get too heavily in, into that. Wanted to dive into the book, but you've got cards, you've got the book, you've got pawns. Great re resources over in Nord Games. Yeah, with that, you know, let us know what you think down in the comments below. While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can check us out over on nerdarchy.com. Check us out over on Facebook as well. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy. Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy, four nerds by nerds, hang out with a couple of nerds. Nathan Nerdark. Nerdark is Ted. And today we're going to do a flip through from Nerds Games Game Master's Toolbox Ultimate Beastry Revenge of the Horde. Jump down to the description below where you can sign up for Nerdarchy's newsletter, get weekly gaming tips, as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. If you guys haven't guessed, our uh, Kickstarter for Revenge of the Horde has come in, and we are going to do a flip through. This is a sponsored video. Plastic stuff there, some gruesome stuff. Bugbear Headman, a challenge six. That's uh, that, that's pretty cool. Go to a Bugbear Shaman, also a challenge six. That. You know, is is good to see. Also, know. looking at this page, uh, you have bugbear trinkets, bugbear lair details. So you have like all these cool extra things um, in there that's that's built right into the book for you guys. Yeah, and earlier they talked about the cultures and the environments that they're found in. No, some of my favorite monstrous humanoids. Those guys are looking pretty beastly. Third party publishers that you know I'm happy to go to most of the time. And Newer Games is definitely one of them. So we got an ar Bugbear Archer, Bugbear Cutthroat. And uh, just to be clear, guys, the art is actually even better than it looks uh, through the camera. The, the colors are muted, um, but they actually look fantastic in the book. If you Just in case you can't fully see that. Uh, I am totally in love with the art and the style. This is some really fantastic. Uh, right here, one of the things you could get through the Kickstarter, and also they're available for purchase over at Nord Games as well, link in the description below, is Encounter Cards. And we have Knolls, we have Kobolds, and... A Kitty? A Kitty, I'm not even sure what that is. It's something in the, in the book, I haven't even really looked at it yet. We got uh, Hobgoblins and Orcs, Bugbears, Ogres, and Trolls, oh my... And let's not forget Goblins. And we have the Goblins. It's a pretty brutal cover there, you know, the... Ogre crushing that orc, you know, pretty cool. Oh, look at this guy. He's a beaut. I feel a little bit like Steve Irwin. He's beauty. Look that's, at the fangs on him. That's an orc's orc there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, I've looked a little bit, you know, as a, a you know quick flip through and all the artwork I saw, I was really happy with. You know, we got a nice uh, scrawled preface there. Awesome. Bugbear's one of my favorites. Yeah, of the there's only a handful of 